back and thanks for tuning in again. So we've got a bit of a different video today. It's a road trip video. So I'm going to look at uh, an old Onan gen set. It's a 1945, I believe, W2C, which popped up on Facebook Marketplace recently. And I'm not really in the market for one of these little generators, but the pictures uh, show it to be in pretty much remarkably good condition, at least on its exterior. You know, one of the best examples or untouched examples I've ever seen. So I thought it was worth taking a ride down here. We're on our way to Stevensville, Maryland. We're actually right around the corner. So uh, once we get there, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much a barn find, apparently. A uh, guy is cleaning out his grandfather's barn, uh, looking to downsize a little bit. So we'll see if we have anything else interesting there. We'll try to get some good shots of the generator. So we'll be there any minute. bit rough on roads, so hang on. Oh, almost lost you there. made it. All right, well, we're heading out. We've got the generator in the back. It's a uh, really nice shape. We'll uh, get some video of that once we get home. But uh, not a whole lot else to see. The barn was a little bit newer, but uh, the generator has been on this farm, this property we're driving on, uh, ever since it was new. Uh, and this property, the farm, has been in the family, well, in their family, for uh, a lot of years. Uh, that house that we passed on the way in, and we're going to pass it a little shortly on the way out, uh, I think he said that was built in 1787, something like that. Pretty impressive. It was renovated in the 80s, but the original structure is from the 1700s. The generator was originally installed in the dairy barn, which I don't know if we passed that on the way in or if it even still exists. That's cool. It's been here its whole life. Um, so the farm is no longer really active. The, the current owner, which is the grandson, is thinking about, well, he's going to uh, convert it into a grass-fed bison farm. So that's pretty cool. So I guess we'll hit the road back to New Jersey, and when we get home, we'll take a good look at the gen set. All right, well, here's a look at the generator. Sorry, this is a voiceover because I had the gain turned down too low on the microphone. So we're taking a look at everything here. And this thing is in pretty nice shape. We got the decal here for the battery charging uh, rheostat. Everything looks good. Got a uh, good shot of the nameplate here. So it's tagged as a Fairbanks Morse, but it was built and sold by Onan. Well, sold by Fairbanks. So here's the serial number. So that 9-5, the 9 is the month, the 5 is the year in the decade of the 1940s. That decimal point right there uh, denotes built in the 1940s. That could either be a decimal point or the letter A. A letter A for 1940s, letter B for 50s, and letter C for 60s. So yep, 9-5 and then the rest there. So built September 1945, it is... Rated at 2,000 watts at 115 volts AC. It's also capable of 15 amps uh, at, or sorry, 10 amps at 15 volts DC. The silkscreen decals are in really nice shape. Water drain and oil drain. Uh, got the fan cooling hub, the cooling fan hub. More of the decals there. 
Yeah, I mean, this thing is, it's a bit dirty, but I'm pretty sure the paint's going to be pretty nice underneath of it. Got the original electric choke there on the carburetor. Got some vintage gasoline still in the bowl for the uh, fuel pump. Yeah, looks like a good unit. So let's uh, get it off the truck. So now that we're all unloaded, we can take a closer look at it. Looks like it must must have ran in the not too distant past. It's got a modern receptacle on it. Mounted on the back of that box. Got to lift the lid here and take a peek in there. Looks like it's got the original battery cables on it. These cloth braided cables. Got some new terminals on it there. But yeah, the paint is in super nice shape. I mean, there's dust and everything on it, but. We're going to clean that up in just a second and see what it looks like. So it's battery ignition. We've got the ignition coil under here. Got the original exhaust elbow. Really nice. Probably original cooling system hose there. Yeah, the paint is just remarkable on this thing. Got the top decal here for checking the coolant level. Speaking of coolant, well, it's got the original radiator cap. And it's got the little decorative uh, finial for the cap. Looks like it's still got coolant in there. That's good. Radiator doesn't appear to be leaking. It's untouched. It still has paint on it. Amazing. Uh, maybe a little, a little leak right there. Evidence of some seepage. No damage though. But yeah, the silk screening here is in excellent shape. Use pure Pennsylvania oil only. Oh, okay. Capacity six, six quarts. That's a lot of oil for 2,000 watts. Built to last. I mean, it looks like it's been a part at least once before, just judging by the paint that's missing on the heads of these bolts. I would say the cylinder head was maybe off at some point, but not any time recently. Still have the uh, RF shielding for the spark plugs and the wires. That's excellent. Air cleaner decal's a little rough. Oil, let's check that oil. Oh, looks like we got original oil, too. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. Got the gauge. Start and stop decals there. So I'm just going to, real quick, spray this down with some WD-40 and wipe this dust off. Maybe work at it around on the cylinder head here with a toothbrush. See uh, how much of that original paint is still there. I'm guessing all of it. This thing should really shine uh, when it's all cleaned up, even the base there. All right, let me give it a little quick polish. Well, five minutes with a toothbrush and some WD-40 has this thing looking even better. A little bit of paint missing over here, but not too bad. really happy with this one. Like I said earlier, I wasn't even in the market for one of these, one of these W2Cs, but uh, they're a nice gen set, and this one, being in the condition it's in, had to go get it. 
Let's take a peek in the uh, control box here. Bring, bring my seat over. Where's my screwdriver at? Looks like there's something going on here. See the sheet metal is a little deformed. My bet is this hinge is frozen up. I usually get that way. See if we got an original mouse nest in there or not. Yeah, something's not quite right here. Oh, looks like we got something. Yeah, see that, that hinge is just stuck. Just take these screws out here. go. Not too bad in there. Yeah, I think the mouse might, the mice might have got to this a little bit. There's a little puff ball in there. Just get that out. I don't know what that green stuff is. Hmm. Let me go grab the air and a mask and blow that out real quick. Well, got that mouse nest out of there, and I like what I see in here too. Looks very untouched. Looks like they started to nibble that wire right there, that's about all they did. Good. Alright, well, that's about enough for this video. Just going to be a quick one, taking a look at this uh, Onan W2C. 76 years old, is that right? Yeah. There. Looks good in the sun. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and uh, Look for a video on this thing in the future. We'll get it running and put it under a load.